Hello, Cedar River Honors. Today is Friday, and here are your daily announcements. I am so thrilled to say that we've made it through our first week of K-5 through on campus with a remote setting going on simultaneous as well. So congratulations to all of our students for making our week such a successful week. And with that, as we wrap up this week and begin our week next week, the month of March, we have Kindness Week. And Kindness Week starts on Monday. Mrs. McKittrick and Mrs. Garrison, along with Mrs. Mosty and Ms. LeBanc, have organized some activities, if you will. We have a story that will be at the end of morning announcements on Monday. So Monday, you can watch it with your teacher, you can watch it on your own, whatever your teacher finds is the most appropriate for your class. And it is called A Little Spot of Kindness. And with those little spots of kindness, you will get an activity from your teacher. And if you're remote, you'll get it on your Thursday supply pickup. And with those spots, there's an activity. And you're going to see what we're going to do with all of those spots together and what we can do as one community and one school with a little bit of kindness. Our student council met this week to also bring to you a spirit week for kindness. And Monday is wild about kindness. So you can wear your animal print shirts or if you have a shirt with an animal on it, some of you have masks with animals on, animal faces or the little animal ears. <clears throat> so we would love to see those pictures of you being wild about kindness. Now, it's not just about the spirit day and dressing up. It's also, how are you choosing kind each day? So I also want to hear what you're doing in your home, in your school, during your day to be kind. What is one act of kindness that you're doing? Our student council has been challenged with doing one act of kindness each day, and we're logging them and sharing them with each other. So some of them are helping your mom wash dishes, or many of them have helped their brothers or sisters with their homework, or fed your dog without being asked. Those are all kind things. And the thing about kindness is when you do it, it feels good, and the other person feels good. And more chances than not, the other person that has been benefiting from your kindness will choose to do kind as well. So, Wild About Kindness on Monday, on Wednesday, we have our class color list. And so each student will have a color, well, each grade has a color associated with that. And those are right here. And then on Friday, it is kindness, like kindness pride. So you can wear your Cedar River shirt to show that you are kind at Cedar River. Or if you have a shirt that has a kindness message on it, please wear that. Again, post these pictures on our PTO Facebook page. You can send those to me directly. You can also share them with your teacher. You can also share them with me. I would love to be able to share those on our morning announcements. And speaking of animal masks, we're just masks in general. I'm very impressed with our students here on campus who continue to wear their masks correctly. Remember, we want them to fit snugly, no gaps on the side, they cover our nose and our chin down here. Some safety here. There's no one else in my office so I can take that out here. And if you lose yours or get it wet or something happens, please ask your teacher for a new one we have many on campus in case you forget. Also, thank you to our families who are dropping their students off and driving slowly through our parking lot. We really appreciate that. As well as our first few hiccups with our fourth and fifth graders dropping off, we were able to get all AM students to campus in less than 12 minutes. And that is pretty amazing with all of the cars that we have dropping off. So great job to everybody. That is all I have for you today. I hope that you make it a great Friday. I will see you next week. We have some special photos from our classrooms as well on the correct way to wear masks and participate in class on campus. And I can't wait to see your photos from Kindness Week. Until then, as always, it's a great day to be an honor. <laughs>